Hello, I'm Ryan from Each Old Photo and today I'm going to show you how to create your edible photo design in Microsoft Word. By the time you're watching this video, our site could have been updated. This will include our new edible designer and we'll release a video on that soon and link in the description. However, if you'd still like to use Microsoft Word, please continue watching. The reason you, you will do this is to add multiple images, to uh, create your own design, or to have images be printed at your exact size that you need. So, first and foremost, here's the page that you'll start with uh, to select your the size of your edible photo. Here we've selected the large size, which you can see here is 26 by 19.1 centimeters. We don't want it square, so we'll select the portrait shape here. Now, go into Microsoft Word, select layout, size, more paper sizes, and enter the size of the edible photo. So that's 26 by 19.1. Here we have, uh, that's the size that we've made, and here we have the margins. You might want to just put this all to zero. Okay, so here we have a landscape. If we'd like to switch it round, change it back to portrait. And here you have the design. So, now you've got to add your own images. You can do this in multiple ways. Firstly, you can find the files uh, in your own computer system and simply just drag them on. Or you can find the images online, right click and copy, go into Word, right click and paste. So right now it's making multiple uh, pages. We don't want that right now. There's one more way that you can uh, add an image and is to go insert pictures and select the file. So right now we have two images on the page, but it's not really how you want it to be. So first, first and foremost, here's what to do. Select your image select wrap text and click tight. Do it for both images. And here you now have the freedom to move it around however you see fit. So here's an example of two images. We'll just do one more. We found an emoji. and we've pasted it in. Now, it's appeared off the page. This is because these two images are wrapped as tight and this one is in line with text. So if we put it back to tight, you can then see it. Now, if you're wanting to make uh, your images a certain size, you want the image going right to the edge of the borders because this is the size uh, that Microsoft Word will measure. To do this you just click crop, drag it down to the image, getting as close as possible and then click crop. Sorted. Now if you want in specific sizes select the image you'd like to change and go over here. Once again this is in picture tools and format. This will appear when the only when the image is selected. So if you're if you click off you it disappears. So go into picture tools, click your picture, picture tools format and go over to height and width. 
So let's say we want this picture to be six centimeters high. Select six and don't change the width. If you do this, it will keep the, press enter and it will keep the image in proportion. So here we have that. And let's change this one to 15 centimeters wide. And press enter. Now, here we have on the page uh, one picture in front of another. We obviously do not want this to be printed like that. So all we're going to do is rotate the image. If you hold down the shift button on your keyboard, it will make sure it keeps straight. Bring this into space. And let's say we also want this one approximately six centimeters high. Now, once you've done your design, you can now add, add some text. If you'd like to do that, I'd recommend to add a text box. Quick text box, simple text box. Type your text. Now let's say you want a strip that's 10 centimeters wide. Here we can do something similar to what we did with the images. So we've got 10 centimeters wide. But the text is too big. So here all we do, decrease the size. Try 32. 30, 31, perfect. Now, you've got this border around the text box. To get rid of this, click Format, Shape Outline, and then click No Outline. There you have it. To save your design, Go to File, Save As, save it to wherever you can uh, return to it. So let's just go to the desktop. So if you go back to the Edible Photo page, Upload your file. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.